Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This week we are making spring rolls. Two types. Let's get straight into it. making two types of spring rolls. There's going to be a vegetarian and a duck spring roll. Both are going to be worked off the same base recipe. So without further ado, let's get into the recipe. We're going to start by comping some duck legs. Sounds complicated I know, but it's really simple. Get three duck legs and cover them with sunflower oil. You want to pop those duck legs in a tray big enough to actually cover them, unlike me. So make sure you put them in a nice big baking tray and then cover them with sunflower oil. Once covered with sunflower oil, you want to put in a few sprigs of rosemary, a few sprigs of thyme, and four cloves of crushed garlic. Cover them bad boys in some tin foil, and then you're going to chuck them into the oven. That's at 120 degrees Celsius for two hours. Because I forgot to use a big enough tray for my duck legs and I need to wait for the big oven to preheat. It takes about an hour. In the meantime, why don't we get on <laughs> to making the vegetarian mix? So grab yourself a knife and we're going to cut some stuff. You need to julienne some carrots. This is very simple. Cut the carrot in half, cut it into strips and then cut them strips into, well, kind of more strips. I guess that's the most simple way to explain it. You can just watch the video, you'll see exactly what I mean by, by you know, julienne. Just a fancy term for batons, really. Cabbage, cut the butt off, peel the leaves off, cut the stalks out, and then slice that, shred that super, super, super duper finely. And that is your cabbage done. That is half Savoy cabbage, by the way. And last but not least, you want to slice 250 grams of fresh shiitake mushrooms, just like this. Into a frying pan, you're going to chuck in two tablespoons of sesame oil. You're then going to heat that up to a medium heat, and then we're going to fry off our kind of prepared vegetables. I'm not really too sure why I said they're kind of prepared, because they're definitely prepared. Anyways, we're going to cook them until they are nice and soft. You can use a lid on top of your pan to aid in that process. And then once they've started to soften, we're going to throw in four tablespoons of dark soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, one teaspoon of MSG and then we're going to cook this out for a further one to two minutes before we then are going to go in with a cornstarch slurry which is a mix of one tablespoon corn flour, one tablespoon water, mix that till it's a slurry and pour that in. We're then going to cook that until our vegetable mix has thickened slightly. Once thicky, kill the heat and you want to use a microplane to grate in two cloves of garlic or just chop it really finely give that all a mix and that's your vegetable mix and done let's just say hypothetically that two hours have passed off to making a vegetable mix it probably hasn't it's probably only been 30 minutes so sit back and chill for a minute you want to take your duck legs out of the oven now do this extremely carefully there's hot oil in that tray the oil isn't going to be as thick as it was when you poured it in it's going to kind of move around easily so just do this super slowly and be very careful it's going to be heavy just exercise this part with caution. Remove the tin foil to reveal some beautifully cooked duck legs. Okay, my oil is probably a little bit hot, my oven isn't too accurate. Anyways, fish them bad boys out of the oil and let them cool down for five to 10 minutes and then we're going to pull the meat off the bones. And this is much easier done when the duck legs are actually hot. So you want to do this once they've cooled down a little bit using a fork just to pull away all of that delicious duck meat. Then run a knife through that till it's a little bit finer. You don't want massive chunks inside of the spring rolls and throw that in with your vegetable mix. Obviously, if you're doing vegetable spring rolls, you, you just leave the duck mix out. It's quite literally that simple. It's, it's, it's the same, same recipe though for the vegetable mix. Give that all a mix, season that to taste. If it needs it, it might not need it. And then you're going to move on to preparing the phyllo pastry. The phyllo pastry I bought come in massive sheets, so I cut it down into quarters. I would presume most phyllo pastry does. If you can get kind of, I think they call them spring roll wrappers, then they will be already cut to size. If not, just take your phyllo pastry and cut it into quarters or to a sensible size. You don't want humongous spring rolls. You might do, but, but you know, I don't recommend it. 
place your phyllo pastry on the side in front of you so it looks like a diamond. You're then going to take a healthy tablespoon of the spring roll mix and going to pop that on the point that is closest towards you. You're then going to take that point that is closest to you and you're going to fold it over itself and slightly tuck it under the mix. You're then going to take the left point and the right point and fold them into the center of the spring roll. Then using a little bit of egg wash or cornflour slurry or water, you're going to brush the furthest point away from you and tightly roll the spring roll up till it is a spring roll. And this is as simple as that, voila. Repeat that process until all of your spring rolls are spring rolled and then we'll get on to frying. Fill a deep sided pan with about one to two inches of sunflower oil and then bring that up to 180 degrees. We are then going to proceed to fry our spring rolls off in batches of five or six at a time. Make sure you're turning these constantly, flicking a little bit of oil over. Just be really careful, this oil is super hot. Do not burn yourself. Please, please, pretty please don't burn yourself. Once they're nice and golden brown, we're going to take them out of the oil and leave them to drain on a bit of kitchen towel. I made a super quick satay sauce to go with this. I will link all the link. I will put all the ingredients up on the screen right now, right here. Boom, there you go. Put them all into a jug, use an immersion blender, blend that bad boy up, and you have a quick and easy satay sauce to dip your spring rolls into. You're welcome. Duck spring rolls, vegetable spring rolls with a satay sauce. Let's talk right into these. I'm kind of excited for this. I'm not gonna lie, look how just golden it is. You can hear the crisp on it. Oh yeah. That's ASMR right there. But we're going to go into the uh, satay. Man. That's really, really, really amazing. The, um, the vegetables that you cooked off at the start they just taste so so good because you've got like the MSG in there just enhancing the flavour of everything. There's a soy sauce, a rice wine vinegar, the sesame oil, all just comes together and creates a, a really delicious base to build off. So you can basically take the uh, the vegetable mix and add whatever meat you want. You want to do pork mince, spring rolls do that. We've done duck spring rolls because that is what was requested and it's delicious. I mean the satay sauce is a bit of a bonus, it takes two seconds to make and it's uh, really good. Oh man, that is so good. Mm -mm -mm. Crispy, delicious, awesome. That's the duck one. Let's try one of the vegetable ones. Trying to differentiate the two. Vegetable one. That's really good. If you're vegetarian and you want something, you know, you want a spring roll, that's a really, really good spring roll. That, that um, might almost be better than the duck one. I, I hate to say it, but you kind of got more flavor of the, the soy, because obviously we added the duck and everything. That's kind of slightly turned down the, the other flavors that we put into the vegetables. Hmm. Well, well, well. That is interesting. The best way to cook them is to fry them. You can definitely oven bake them if you're trying to be a little bit healthier. You know, you don't want all the, the, the deep fried stuff. But the oven baking doesn't get them quite as crispy. It doesn't get them really nice and golden, but it does work and they are delicious. So just bear that in mind. These are great. These were requested from someone. So I'm really happy that I got to make these and show you guys how to make these. I hope you can go away, learn something, try them yourself, make your own flavor combinations. Send me pictures if you do. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. If you have, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment on what you want me to make in the future, and don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. I'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.